allowed a separate review is doing a walkthrough for King's Quest 2, Romancing the Frown on the PC. <clears throat> it's like part six or something of the walkthrough. Guess you can call it a long play or something. Since I'm going quite slowly through the game here. Uh, right. In the last part, we got our second key to unlock the second door. So, now we need to unlock another door with another key. Uh, we got a hint, another hint, as to what we gotta do next, but it's almost useless, really. Uh, we gotta go back to the swamp, because there's something new there. Now that we've opened that second door. Hagatha. If you have the protection spell, uh, she dies at your feet, or she disappears uh, when you're around. So, it's a cool thing to have the protection spell, definitely. <clears throat> it runs out eventually, though. And if you don't have it, then she's a threat. Right, here we are in the swamp, finally. So, there should be something new around here. Uh, Grim Reaper looking guy, uh, but that's what we're looking for. Yeah, sometimes what you gotta do is totally random and you just gotta wander around until you find something new in this game. Typical old school gaming. Uh, right. Yeah, I've been curious. Probably. You've probably been curious as to what's past the swamp here while playing the game so far. Up to this point, we haven't been able to cross the swamp, but now we finally can. And that's what we're going to do. If I can ever find this belt man. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here he is. Yeah, some guy who looks like Grim Reaper. See some castle off in the distance. Wonder if we're going there. Okay. You know what? Let's just boldly get on his boat. So yes, make sure you ha are wearing the cloak, the ruby ring, and the cross before you go here. Uh, because he'll think you are the master of the castle, whoever that is. I'm not going to tell you. Make sure you type leave boat. One time I spent a, a lot of time uh, trying to get out of the boat. Just typing in different commands and stuff, but you just gotta type leave boat. Instead of like get out boat and stuff. So, believe it or not, this is where you gotta eat the sugar cube. <laughs> Don't just eat it right after you get it. Because it runs out eventually. Uh, try to get through the castle as fast as you possibly can. So you don't run out of your sugar cube. Because it's recommended to have it when you uh, leave the castle. So uh, all it does is make you uh, skip by those uh, bushes back there. Which are nearly impossible to get by normally. <clears throat> uh, when I first played this game I spent so much time getting past those evil bushes. Really difficult. There's some cool music here. I don't have uh I don't have any audio though in this walkthrough. Unlike the rest of my walkthroughs. Uh right. Go to the western part of the castle first. But yeah, that um music that is usually there when you first Enter the castle for the first time. It's pretty cool. For 8-bit music. Alright, let's go over here and get ourselves an item. Candle. So we can light. That'll help us get into the basement. So, 
you might uh have trouble climbing these stairs. I don't know. I don't find it too difficult, but you might. If you do, you can try using the mouse or something. Might help you. If you fall off the stairs, of course you die. Unless you're like right at the bottom of the stairs and you fall off and you don't die from that. But if you're up high on the stairs and you fall, then it usually means death. So yes, light your candle here. There may be another place where you can light it. I'm not sure about that. But I just like to light it right there. So yeah, let's go check out the eastern part of the castle. So yes, uh, that those bramble bushes or whatever they are, uh, are really, really difficult to get by. So try running through the castle as fast as you can. Because your sugar cube power does run out. And yes, you do have to go through those bushes a second time while leaving the castle. So it's just recommended to uh, keep the power of the sugar cube going. That's why in the last bar I was talking about how important it is to uh, throw the bridle on the snakes and in the snake and get the sugar cube. All uh, right. Let's go see what's down in this creepy basement. The master of the castle, maybe. Hmm, mild spoiler. Yeah, save your game before you open this thing. Uh, just type open lid or something. Oh. This, uh, if I remember, I had spent a long time here trying to open this thing. Nope, never mind. Wrong time I did this walkthrough. I've had to redo this walkthrough like three different times. I'm starting to get confused about which walkthrough I'm doing. Uh, yes, it's Dracula himself. Ah, I lost. But if you have the cross, then he doesn't kill you. Otherwise, you're screwed. But if you kill him, you get a ton of points. So make sure you do that. But you can only do it with the mallet. And maybe another item. We'll find out. Kind of a brutal killing right there of Dracula. Kind of violence for a King's Quest game. The most unviolent games ever made. Most family friendly games ever made. Really? The first two, anyway. Got a little weird at the third game, but, you know, I'll talk about that in the walk for that game. Okay, let's look in the coffin. Oh, this might be the part that I'm at for, like, ever. Because I can't find the right ward coffin. For some reason. It totally escaped me. So I spend, like, a whole minute here. Maybe not that much time. Maybe just a few seconds. But it seemed like a whole minute had gone by. Uh, that's well, the only drawback of the type-based controls. They don't understand what you're talking about half of the time. I mean, they, I like the type-based controls. It gave the game, the early King's Quest games, lots of uh, creativity and the stuff you can do. There's so much you can do, really, using the type-based controls. It's really cool. Mind the neighbors, please. Okay, cool. Let's take the item. Because King Graham takes everything that isn't nailed to nailed down. Graham is quite the thief. He just goes into people's houses and takes their stuff. Yeah. And
end. Oh, okay, yeah. I think the end of the part's coming up soon here. By soon, I mean now. Uh, watch the next part of walkthrough.